Well, we all like to encourage kids to reach for the stars. And like the saying goes, this group of talented uni students did exactly that. They competed in the Rocket Building Olympics. After thousands of hours spent designing, building and launching their rocket, UCID rocketry team won gold. Amazing. Mm. Good job. Uh, we are joined now by Executive Director of UCID Rocketry Team, Alison Lockley, and Project Director Alistair DeVroot, along with their superstar team. First of all, a huge congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. We're so excited about it. It's you, been amazing. I mean, you could say you must be over the moon Good. with your win. <laughs> We're um, definitely over the moon. <laughs> but you won in three categories. So, you know, how did you react when you first found out that you got gold? Um, well, the first one was actually at Spaceport America a couple of weeks ago. Um, and so that's why I payload over there. Um, and so we won that and it was just like, it was a huge moment. We we're all very excited. It was a big audience. Um, and then the loss and the other two were actually um, about what, four hours ago um, at 4 a.m. <laughs> Um, and so we were just on a live stream, and I think no one really expected it. Uh, like, we knew we did the best we could, but we weren't sure if that was the best against the best in the world. Um, yeah, so. There was a lot of screaming, a lot of cheering. It's, yeah, it's, I think everyone's still in a bit of a state of disbelief. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic news. There's quite a tight group of masterminds behind that rocketry team. We can see some of them there, some of them celebrating now. What was it like working together and then heading to New Mexico to, to win together? It's been it's been such an experience. Our team is so tight knit, and we have we have some of us here, but there's about sixty of us overall that work in operations on the business side of things and the technical side. And going to Spaceport America Cup was just it was the most challenging and rewarding experience I think um, probably probably for a lot of us that we've ever experienced. Uh, it was good weather, which is, which is nice. Alistair, give us an insight into uh, what the process was like. Uh, in, uh, so there was a day of just check-in, making sure our rocket was safe, uh, making sure they're happy for us to fly it. Uh, and then there was a day of a podium, uh, sorry, of like poster session. So we sort of explain our rocket to the judges. We get to see other teams. Uh, it's a lot of collaboration. You get to meet a lot of new people. Uh, the third day is when we actually get to launch. Um, unfortunately, it was raining in the desert, uh, so that launch day got scrapped. Uh, and so we had to do it all again uh, the next day. Uh, but so we uh, build the rocket, do the final one. Uh, bits and pieces, puts all the motor, the explosives in it, um, and then it gets to go up. And how high does it go? So the target apogee for uh, the rockets is different categories. Uh, we were competing in the 30,000 foot category. So our target apogee was 30,000 feet and we simulated to reach 30,000 feet and we were 67 feet off our target apogee. So that was a, a relative error of 0.22%. Really <laughs> close to it. Uh, yeah, I'd work that out too yeah. in my head. Yeah. Uh, Alison, <laughs> very, <laughs> very idea, very idea close. of being out there at the desert because you're, you're, you know, you're walking around, you're seeing other teams eyeing off their rockets. Is it collegiate and who are the big names when it comes to this Rocket Olympics? There's some really big names out there. So there's a Norwegian team, Propulse NTNU is one of our, um, yeah, we love seeing their work out there. There are another couple of Australian unis out there as well, which did really well in the competition. All of the American universities are obviously incredible, some really awesome stuff happening. Uh, it's amazing to be out there and a bit surreal to be building your rocket and then running out every um, every 10 minutes or so to watch other rockets launch. It's just, yeah, I think that was probably one of the best things about it. How about, there must have been a little, some challenges as well, though, too, Alistair. Yeah, so um, there's always challenges, especially international travel and logistics. Uh, so we actually had a bit of a problem with one of our baggages getting a bit mixed up. Oh, no. uh, and up coming, I think, yeah, no, it was a big problem. Uh, but on the, so it ended up coming on the Tuesday at about, I think it arrived out at Airbnb at about 10 p.m. And so then we need to start doing all our preparations, uh, pulling like an all-nighter to just get ready to go to the launch site at 4 a.m. Well, congratulations on all the success. It is great news and gives you all an excuse to start building for when you defend your title when the next time this all comes around. Great to speak to you this morning. Yeah, congratulations, team. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.